happens when the chains of rebellion become the vaults of empire. This week, the whispers turn to war drums, because sometime around July 22nd, the US government is set to reveal its hand. A strategic digital asset reserve, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, maybe XRP. The old guard, the blue chip chains, now flagged as national interest. An executive order was signed in January, and that set the timer. 180 days, and that countdown ends now. They're not just buying in, they're preparing a stockpile, like oil, like gold, like warheads. But this time it's digital, and this time it's programmable. Now the state doesn't want meme coins, it wants base layers, it wants collateral, it wants programmable money, it can track, tax and tokenize. And yes, it wants to sound like he understands crypto, but here's a spoiler alert, it doesn't. But that's not the point here, the point here is power. So what does this all mean for us? Well, it means the nation state is entering the liquidity pool, but don't expect them to ape into your favourite dog coin. It means every transaction could become a sovereign tool. It means decentralization is no longer a niche, it's infrastructure. And all you have to do is look at the timing. Wall Street already loaded up. BlackRock's ETFs are now live, and institutions are staking. Custodians are consolidating, and now the government wants its share. Now this isn't adoption, it's absorption. This isn't a warm hug from Capitol Hill. It's a regulatory chokehold with a smile. The dream of crypto was escape, but the reality? The fortress is integrating in the flame. You didn't kill the Hydra, you gave it a wallet. And the Chain Temple sees this, through the executive orders, through the ETF filings, through the headlines that dress up control as innovation. So what happens now for us? Now we watch the chain split again, not by forks, but by purpose. There will be the chains that serve the system, and there will be chains that defy it. There will be coins that get stocked in vaults, and there will be coins that vanish from sight. So choose, stake with the state or build with the shadows. Trade the reserve narrative or ride the underground rails. Because the fire is back, the digital arms race is beginning and the map is being redrawn in real time. Just don't be the guy explaining your wallet to Homeland Security because you forgot that your privacy matters. The state does not adopt, it colonizes. And Bitcoin was made to survive collapse, Ethereum was made to rebuild new systems, and Solana was made to scale the next layer. But a reserve? That's not freedom. That's a signal. A sign that the sovereigns now fear the ledger. So you should not fear the fire. You should learn to forge with it. Your conviction is the real collateral here. And your clarity is the final reserve. Because in a world of programmable money, wisdom is the last asset they can seize from you.